so today we are going to talk about a very important part of, of liturgy that is called the O antiphons. <laughs> And for the seven last days of Advent, from December the 17th until December uh, 23rd. They are important because um, Vesper is an important tower of, of the office, and they are just before the Magnificat. And the Magnificat may be the, the core of the Vesper, so it's really an important place. And in history, these this antiphons in the history of liturgy have been underlined in many different ways. There are places where they had the, the bells that would ring during the, the O antiphons. Or for instance, uh, instead of repeating them at the end of the Magnificat one time, they would do it three times. Or they would give different roles or so different persons in, in function of, um, according to their hierarchy uh, to sing these antiphons. Uh, so they were always considered special and they are also called the great O, O like because they begin with O, it's always O of O so to speak, so O sapientia, it's O wisdom, O Adonai, O Lord, these are seven attributes of Christ and each day you have a different attribute, the last one will be O Emmanuel, O God with us and it's um, I would say the best way to, to understand them is a countdown to Christmas, really. Every day you know you will have this attribute, you can meditate on it. And uh, it's all the more perceptible that actually you have the same intonation at the beginning of each uh, antiphon. So it's very clear, it always comes back. They always come from the book of Isaiah or are related to the book of Isaiah, to other prophets as well. But it's also an important feature because as we already uh, saw, the book of, of Isaiah uh, is very important to the time of Advent and this is the prophet who is talking the most or um, is the best foreteller of the coming of Christ. So if you look at these O antiphons from a musical perspective and you look at this intonation, it's really interesting. It's not the only place where you have this C to F and then F to D intonation, but it's one intonation that is considered quite specific and when you hear it you know there are only specific places where you, where you find it and you will always recognize it, especially since it's always the word O, a letter O that is sung on this One thing interesting is that you will always see the text varies, of course, but you will have this second intonation, the second part of, of the uh, antiphon, that says, Veni, come, O Lord, and then something else. You will also have this fourth, you know, this C to F, so you will hear it twice in, in the piece. One of the beautiful things is that you have uh, at a certain point, and it's always the same melody, goes up until the, the B flat, and you have this movement, and it underlines, of course, the, the world on, uh, that is that is on, on this melody. And if you look at the first antiphon, it's O uh, sapientia, so O wisdom, and the, the word in question is forti there. For so is meaning courage or strength.
So each day you have this, this melodic movement towards the upper part. And at the end of the um, antiphon, you will find um, a melodic movement to the lower part, to A. And, and it's also beautiful if you look at the, at the words, because the last, I mean, the 20, 20th and 21st of December, uh, this, this movement goes down on the word tenebris, so the darkness. And uh, in a way, you see, you, you go down into darkness, and then you go up to your, your model uh, note, which is D. So it's a beautiful movement. The, the mode itself of, of these uh, antiphons is second mode, also D, just that's the first. And it's, uh, once again, it's not, it's not exuberant, it's not joy here, obviously, it's something, it is, it is called tristis, so sad would be the, the translation. It is something that you can, you can feel something will happen, but at the moment it's still in the darkness, so it's a bit of light in the darkness. And it's preparing for something that you, you see that the melody is rather um, serious and, and solemn. And this is indeed the sense of the meaning of the countdown until the last day and then uh, the birth of Christ. <laughs> Thank you. 